As he often does, this president started his day today attacking Robert Mueller on Twitter. But then he took things a bit further, retweeting this image that Richard Painter just mentioned from an account called The Trump Train. It reads, quote, now that Russia collusion is a proven lie, when do the trials for treason begin? As you can see there, the image features two former presidents, for starters, and a number of this president's political enemies behind bars. They include uh, Robert Mueller, James Comey, and the current Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein. Well, the New York Post, one of several media outlets to interview the president in recent days, asked him about posting that on Twitter, uh, writing, quote, it was no accident that President Trump retweeted an image of Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, among others locked up when asked during an interview with the post why do you think he belongs behind bars trump responded he should have never picked a special counsel well here with us to talk about it all tonight two veterans bill crystal a veteran of the reagan and bush administration and editor at large of the weekly standard and rick wilson a proud floridian a proud never trumper a veteran republican strategist whose latest book may sum up his opinion of the times we're living in it is called everything trump touches dies. Welcome to you both, gentlemen. Uh, Mr. Crystal, I'll start with you. Uh, presidential panic isn't pretty. That's what I read you said on social media today in light of that piece of artwork. These are new times we're in, aren't they? It does seem that the president thinks that the walls may be closing in on him. We've thought that a few times before, but it just feels more that way. And I do think the fact that Bob Mueller seems to think that he has proof that Manafort didn't cooperate, i.e. lied, which means he must, under, he must have evidence that these things were lies. As I understand it, you can't just, if you're, you know, say we're abrogating the deal we made because I don't like the way he's, you know, behaving. It has to be, you have to really show that he lied. And if Trump has some sense that, that Mueller knows that Manafort lied about things related to Trump and that Trump may have lied about those things, then we're at a whole different level. And can you believe we're playing this? No. This kind of this well, is, and, this is screenplay stuff. Yeah, and I, I you know, we were talking about this in the break for a minute. I'm just amazed by the joint defense agreement, which we're all talking about, and the lawyers are intelligently explaining. Well, here's when it doesn't work, and if you're, you know, but think about this: minute. the fact that the president of the United States is in a joint defense agreement against the special prosecutor. Is, is itself astonishing. If he did nothing wrong, he's a president for one thing. He can't what if be it indicted. were a Rico He can't trial. be indicted. Yeah. We want I mean, mobsters sharing information right. among their legal team? Yeah, so they do, and this is that's what they're set up for. You know, the contractor, the union boss, the, the, the supplier, they're all in some conspiracy to defraud someone, and they have a joint defense agreement. But think, I mean, Richard Nixon, to the best of my knowledge, did not have a joint defense agreement with Haldeman or Reagan, with people in the Iran Contra thing. We would have all thought that was just. Astounding. He's the president. He's going to be presumed innocent. He's going to tell the truth. And, you know, whatever he might have done or might not have done, the idea that he would be treat, he would treat a special counsel investigation, in this case the former head of the FBI, duly appointed and so forth, he would treat this as the way one, you know, a, a mob boss or a dubious businessman would treat some local prosecutor trying to go after him as a game that you try to escape. He's the president of the United States. And I think that also holds for the, the attacks on Mueller, which have gotten more and more, uh, you know, intemperate. Yeah. I mean, are really astonishing at this point. I mean, he basically, Trump is now saying that Robert Mueller, his entire team, presumably half, all the people in the FBI who are cooperating with him, are purposely trying to get people to lie knowingly trying to get Corsi and Stone and Manafort to lie. Think about that for a minute. What, he thinks the whole, he basically thinks the Justice Department is fu he, that he presides over is fundamentally corrupt. I mean, A, he's wrong, and B, what does that say about, you know, any faith in our, what does that do to people's faith in our institutions? And so, Rick, with that in mind, as a public service, we have put together just a brief list um, uh, of the out-of-the-ordinary times we're living in. Uh, retweets an image of political enemies behind bars, uh, sure. dozens of joint defense agreements, lawyers briefed by Manitort, Manafort attorneys, and a Manafort pardon not off the table. And then there is this from our 4 p.m. broadcast with Nicole Wallace. I want to play for you uh, some Joyce Vance comments on how far we are from normal. Then we'll come out of it and you and I will discuss how far we are from normal. The reality is that this president is making the, the effort to undermine the American justice system 
in order to benefit himself. And it becomes normal. We sit around and we're all talking about the fact that the President of the United States has a joint defense agreement with 32 under indiv other individuals. They're all under investigation for federal crimes. And somehow that's becoming normal. And we have to resist that urge and keep it from becoming normal because it's not. The point Bill Crystal just made. Rick Wilson, to you. Mm -hmm. You know, I would, I'm going to slightly tweak the old Daniel Patrick Moynihan phrase, but we are defining presidency down every day. This, this president is determined to defend his, his, himself, his family, his money, his power with any corruption of our government, of our legal system. And so every day he's putting out things that are, that are, that are edging us closer and closer to the point where, where the, the, the fundamental structure that holds our constitutional system together, which is a respect for the rule of law, is increasingly in danger. And, and he's trying to normalize inside the Republican Party, what's left of it, the, 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 the idea that, that any, any uh, oversight of him and any prosecution of him must be inherently driven by some evil cabal of deep state you know, Hillary Holdover is locked in the Justice Department trying to, 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 to overturn the will of the people, and not because he's a lavishly corrupt scumbag, surrounded by other lavishly corrupt scumbags. I mean, the, the, the thought that, that Donald Trump's in a joint defense agreement with pathological liars um, who, who are on parallel with him as a pathological liar is, would be funny if it wasn't so terrifying how far they're dragging us to the edge of the, of the political abyss in this country. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.